if you want to plan a route with Garmin Basecamp for the first time or are looking for a connection between two places, then you have come to the right place. I'll show you a simple route planning with Garmin Basecamp from point A to point B. There are two ways to do this. You will learn which ones in a moment. Hello, I'm Thomas, your Auto Tech instructor. In my channel, I explain how to use apps and devices related to outdoor and fitness. First, I will show you what you need to plan and how the Garmin Basecamp Route Planner is set up. Then, we plan a simple route between two points by searching for locations. Then, we plan directly by clicking on the map. And finally, I show you how to use your new route. Welcome to Garmin Basecamp, the route planning and organizer software. Today I want to show you two ways to plan a simple route between two points. To do this, you should either have a map installed for Garmin Basecamp, have a device connected with a map installed or have another storage medium connected from which you can access a map. I will show you where to find maps and how to install them on different media in another video. For this exercise I have installed an OSM map of Sweden. I recommend that you select a medium level of detail so that the map resolves more quickly. If you need more detail you can change this at any time. If you miss tools in the header bar, you can click with the right mouse button in the header bar and activate or deactivate the checkbox of the tools. For the exercise, only the detail level, the activity profiles, the map products, the map tools and the drawing tools must be activated. You can arrange the tools as you wish by dragging and dropping. Garmin Basecamp uses a library similar to a folder system on a computer. The main folder is My Collection. In this folder you can create new folders. To create a folder, go to your collection or a subfolder where you want to create another folder, right click and select New List Folder. You can also rename the folder. A root must always be stored in a list Otherwise, it is stored in the unlisted data folder. Create a new list for your exercise. This can be in the main folder, my collection or in one of the subfolders. Organize your library according to your wishes. If something ends up in the wrong folder, you can copy or move everything using drag and drop. Have you already created a list for the exercise? Then let's start planning now. Let us now plan a route between two points. You start the route planning tool either via the file bar, tools and route or via the toolbar if you have activated it. An input window then opens for the route to be planned. You can also change the map selection here. Below this, you define the type of activity. Let's assume you want to drive your caravan to a campsite nearby after a stroll through the city of Kalmar. Select the activity profile RV. Now enter the name of the Bernhausen car park in the search field for the starting point. Depending on the map, you will now be offered concrete suggestions to choose from. Select the car park. At your destination you want to stay overnight at Stansfield Camping. Enter this name in the search field of the destination. Select the appropriate search result. Once you have set the start and destination, click Go. Garmin Basecamp has now calculated a route according to your specification and displayed on the map in an information window. You can change the name of the tour, the activity and the color of the route on the map. If you want to know the distance and the estimated journey time, activate the More Info checkbox. You can change the direction of travel by clicking Reverse. 
in the other tabs of the window you can get more information, view the root directions, check and change root options, see the attitude profile in the graph and make notes about the root. The last tab shows the folder and the list where your root is now stored. To view the root on the map, close the preview window and select the pan tool in the toolbar. To open the root details again, double click on the root on the map or on the root in your list. How do you feel now about your first steps with the Garmin Basecamp Root Planner? Write your experience in the comments. Do you have any questions about using Basecamp? Ask your questions here directly below the video. In the second example you plan a route between two points that you define yourself on the map. To do this, go to your desired map section, adjust the zoom so that you can see the starting point. Then click on the route tool again. Now close the input window for start and destination. In the example I've chosen, I want to plan a walk from the campsite to Karma Castle. Therefore, I select walking as activity in the toolbar at the top. By the way, you can also plan and navigate routes for walking and cycling with the app Komoot. If you don't know Komoot yet, watch the video in the top right hand corner or look for the link in my video description. After you have selected the activity, set the starting point on the map. You will have noticed that the pan tool has changed into a pencil in the route planning. Click on your desired location for the starting point. The starting point is now shown with a root name and a line is attached to your mouse pointer. Go to the desired destination. Do not click on the map yet if the destination is not in the map section. You can use the arrow keys on your keyboard or the control element on the map to move the section. Use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. For the exercise, I choose the bridge in front of Karma Castle. By setting the destination, Garmin Basecamp has created a route. You are still in the route tool. Click on the pen tool in the toolbar again. Now the pencil changes back to the pen tool and you can grab and move the map. You can open the info window for the route as in the first exercise. I don't like the route gardens yet. That's why we will continue the walk on this route in a later video. Now you want to use the route. You can export the planet route if you want to use it on a device that cannot be connected to Basecamp or if you want to use it in an app. To do this, click on the route in the library, then go to File at the top Go to Export and click on Export Selection. Save the route in your desired destination folder. Under File Type you can choose between different file types for export. If you have a Garmin device connected to Basecamp, you proceed differently. You can move the route directly to the device using drag and drop. Alternatively, you can right click on the planet route and send the route to your device via Send Two, make sure that the activity of your planet route also matches the area of use of your navigation device. You can find a step-by-step -step tutorial for the route planner Komoot in the playlist at the top left. I explain Google My Maps in the playlist on the bottom left. I'm always happy about your comments and a thumbs up. I'm Thomas, your AutoTech instructor. See you next time.